Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang regions under the T-distribution. Sa pagkuha ng regions under the T-distribution, kailangan natin gamitin ang sumusunod na T-table. So, ang area niya is the upper tail probability. Pag sinabi natin upper tail probability, ang area niya is to the right of the T value. Katulad ng representation na ito. So, meron tayo rito sa unang column na degrees of freedom at narito naman sa taas yung ating upper tail probability or yung area of the region given the T value. So, kung mapapansin nyo rito is wala tayong negative na T value. Alamin natin iyan kung bakit wala tayong negative na t-value mamaya. Ano-ano ang mga important formula na ating gagamitin dito? So, to compute for the t-value, we have the formula t is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean over the sample standard deviation over square root of the sample size. Or, if the sample variance is given, papalitan lang natin yung denominator ng square root of s square over n. Now, paano natin kukunin ang regions under the T-distribution? So, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, ang nasa table ay nagre-represent ng area to the right of the T-value. So, kung kukunin natin ang probability or area of the region to the right of the T-value given n, so T is greater than n, is equal to the value in the T-table. Katulad ng representation na ito. Okay? So, again, if Uh, we are looking for the probability of t is greater than n. Titingnan lang natin ang t table. Yun na agad ang area of that region. Next, paano naman kung less than the t value ang ating kukunin na area? So, we have probability of t is less than n is equal to 1 minus probability of t is greater than n. So, anong gagawin natin? Kukunin lang natin ang value niya sa t-table at ima-minus siya sa 1. Kasi ang representation niya is yung ating t-distribution na ito. Okay? So, ang area at probability ay pareho lamang siya. Ginag Mas madalas ko kasing gamitin is probability instead of area. Pero huwag kayong malilito dahil ang probability at area of the region are just the same. Now, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, Uh, wala tayong value na negative sa ating t-distribution. Bakit? Because a negative t-value has the same area as its corresponding positive t-value. The difference is the direction of the area. Okay? Let's say meron tayong n at saka negative n. Area kasi sa t-distribution natin is the upper tail probability. That means area to the right of n. Ngayon, kapa ang area niya ay equal siya to the left naman of its negative counterpart. Okay? So, let's say ito ay 1 and then ito ay negative 1. Pareho sila ng area. Ang pinagkaiba lamang is yung sa positive to the right siya. Yung sa negative naman ay to the left. So, we have probability of t is less than negative n is just the same as the probability of t is greater than n. So, paano natin kukunin ang probability of t is greater than negative n? Ima-minus lang natin yung probability of t is greater than n sa 1. Okay? So, magbibigay ako ng mga examples dyan. Example number 1. What is the area of the region to the right of t is equal to 1.1 with df is equal to 9? So, ang gagawin lang natin is i-locate ang degrees of freedom which is equal to 9 on the first column and the t value. So, ang ating degrees of freedom is nasa first column. Ito yung 9. Then, tingin kayo sa right side niya. Hanapin nyo yung 1.1. So, ito yung ating 1.1 and then tingin kayo doon sa taas. Okay? So, we have 0.15 or 15% yung area or probability ng region na iyon. Okay? So, ang tinatanong kasi rito is to the right of t is equal to 1.1. So, dahil to the right, greater than 1.1. Okay? So, dahil greater than, we just look at the t distribution table, yun na agad ang kanyang value. So, the probability is on the first row which is 0.15 or 15%. Next example number 2. What is the area of the region to the left of t is equal to negative 0.879 with degrees of freedom equal to 10?
So for the solution, ilocate natin ang df is equal to 10 on the first column. Ito yon. And then tingin kayo sa kanyang right side. Hanapin nyo yung 0 0.879. So kahit siya ay negative, tingnan nyo pa rin yung positive counterpart niya. Okay? And then tingin kayo sa taas, we have 0 0.20 or 20%. Bakit ito na agad yung sagot? Dahil... Ang tinatanong dito is to the left of t is greater than negative 0.879. So, siya ay equal sa area of the region to the right of its positive counterpart. So, titingnan lang natin ito. Okay? At tingin natin, pag tingin natin sa taas, 0.20 siya, equal silang dalawa. So, we have 0.2 probability or 20%. Next, number 3. What is the area of the region to the right of t is equal to negative 1.088 with df is equal to 11? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, to the right naman tayo ng negative na t value. Ilocate natin ang degrees of freedom sa first column. Ito yon. And then, tingin kayo sa right side. Okay, so we have 1.088. Ito yon. At tingin kayo sa taas niya. Ang probability is 0.0. 15. This is the upper tail probability or the lower tail probability of its negative counterpart. Since to the right siya, okay, so we are looking for the area to the right of a negative t value, then we need to subtract it from 1 or 100%. Ito yung sinabi ko kanina na 1 minus probability of uh, t is greater than n. Okay, so ima-minus natin ito sa 1, so 0 0.15 i-minus sa 1, ang sagot ay 0 0.85 or 85%. Okay, so yung 15% i-minus natin sa 100%, that is equal to 85%. Next, number 4. What is the area of the region to the left of T is equal to 1.796 with DF is equal to 11? Since positive ito, kailangan lamang nating tingnan ang T table. Pero, tandaan na to the left siya. Okay? Kung to the right siya, automatic, kung ano yung value sa T table natin, yun nakaagad. Pero dahil to the left, ima-minus natin siya sa 1. So, first locate the DF or degrees of freedom on the first column and the T value. Sa degrees of freedom, ito yung 11. Tingin kayo sa right side, hanapin ng 1.796. Ito yun. And then, tingin kayo sa taas, ang probability niya is 0.05. That is the upper tail probability. Since sinahanap natin ang to the left of t is equal to 1.796, that is the lower tail probability, uh, kailangan nating i-minus siya sa 1 or 100%. Ito yung sinasabi rito. Since we are looking for the area to the left, we have to subtract it from 1 or 100%. So, Yung 0.05 i-minus mo sa 1, we have 0.95. Or yung 5% i-minus mo sa 100, we have 95%. Next, example number 5. A sample of size 24 is taken from a normal population to be used in a study. A t-test was used and found out that the area to the right of the t-value is 25%. What is the computed t-value? Since n is equal to 24, then the degrees of freedom or df is equal to 24 minus 1 equals 23. So, ilolocate natin ang t value using the degrees of freedom and we have probability which is equal to 0 0.25. Okay, so ito yung 0 0.25, ito yung degrees of freedom na 23, saan sila nag intersect we have 0 0.68. Five. Okay? So, dahil ito ay area to the right of the t-value, ito na yung ating sagot. Okay? 0 0.685. So, the t-value is equal to 0 0.685. Next, example number 6. A sample of size 20 is randomly selected from a normal population with a mean of 40. If this samples has a mean of 45 and a standard deviation of 10.8, what is the area to the right of the t value? Tandaan na to the right of the t value siya. Ibig sabihin kung ano yung uh, area niya sa ating t distribution, yun na agad yun. Kasi to the right. Okay? Upper tail probability. 
So first, identify the given. We have the population mean of 40. The sample mean, ito yon 45. The sample size, which is 20, taken from a normal population. And the standard deviation or the sample standard deviation is 10.8. Okay, so compute the t-value first using this formula. So by substitution, we have 45 minus 40 over 10.8 over square root of 20 is approximately equal to 2.070. Kapag ipepress nyo siya sa calculator, ganito dapat siya. Next, locate the degrees of freedom which is equal to 19. Bakit naging 19 ang degrees of freedom? Dahil 20 ang ating sample size. Okay? So, ang ating t-value is 2.070. Look at 19, the degrees of freedom, and then to the right niya is wala tayong eksakto na 2.070. Dahil dyan, uh, kukunin natin yung dalawang values kung saan naroon siya sa pagitan nun. Okay, so meron tayong 1.729 at 2.093. So ang 2.070 ay nasa pagitan ng dalawang ito. So tingnan yung taas. Tingnan yung taas, ito yung ating area which is which are 0.05 and 0.025. So therefore, the area which is on the first row is between 0.025 and 0.05 or 2.5% and 5%. Okay? So, bakit siya naging dalawa? Kasi nga, wala tayong eksakto na t-value na 2.070 dito sa ating t-table. Next, example number 7. A certain company manufactures lithium-ion batteries. The head claims that their product lasts for 350 cycles. A research was conducted by taking 28 samples and found out that the sample standard deviation is 12.5. What is the probability that the mean of the sample is less than 354 cycles? Assume that the population is normally distributed. Okay? So, first, identify the given. The population mean is 350. The sample mean is 354. The sample size is 28. And the sample standard deviation is 12.5. I-compute muna natin ang t-value using this formula. So by substitution, we have 354 minus 350 over 12.5 over square root of 28 is approximately equal to 1.693. So kung ipepress nyo sa calculator, ganito dapat ang inyong pipindutin. Next, i-locate natin ang DF is equal to 27. Bakit 27 ang DF natin? Dahil ang samples natin ay 28. So, 28 minus 1 is equal to 27. So, nasa first column siya, ito yung ating 27. Tingin kayo sa right side. Okay? Ang ating t-value is approximately 1.693. Okay? At dahil wala siyang uh, eksakto rito... Kukunin natin ang values kung saan siya naglalay sa pagitan ng dalawang iyon. So, we have 1.314 and 1.703. Okay? Tingnan natin yung taas. We have 0 0.10 and 0 0.05. Pero tandaan natin na ang kinukuha nating probability is less than 354 cycles. Ibig sabihin niyan, to the left siya ng ating t-value. At dahil siya ay to the left, kailangan nating i-minus yung dalawang probability na ito sa 1. So, 0 0.05 minus 1 is 0 0.95 and 0 0.1 minus 1 is 0 0.9. Kung percent ang kailangan, i-change nyo lang siya. So, 0 0.9 is equal to 90% at 0.95 at 0.95 is equal to 95%. So, ibig sabihin, ang probability that the mean of the sample is less than 354 cycles is between 90 and 95%. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Goodbye!